Surface area of triangular prisms. So what again is a triangular prism? Well, a triangular prism is a 3D figure with two congruent triangular bases that are also parallel. Now here we have um, one shape that is not a triangular prism. And that, of course, would be our pyramid here. It just has one base. A triangular prism has two triangular bases that are parallel and also congruent. So here we have a triangular prism. And of course, the bases are of the prism are both triangles. So we're going to have to use the formula for area of a triangle. And if you look at the lateral faces of the prism, and the lateral face, what a lateral face is, it's the faces that join the bases. It's like the sides. Uh, so the shape of the lateral faces, they're actually rectangles. So we're going to have to use the formula for area of a rectangle as well in order to find the surface area of a triangular prism. So how exactly do I find the surface area of a triangular prism? Let's go ahead and do it. So the first thing we're going to do is find the area of the base. Now the base would be right here. And to find the area of that, I could use any three of these formulas for area of a triangle. I think I'm going to use this third one. So let's do uh, area equals base times height divided by 2. So base is 3 times the height is 4. And we're going to divide that by 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. This would be 6 square centimeters. Now remember, these bases are congruent. So they're going to have the same area, the same surface area. So this would also be 6 square centimeters. Rectangular face number 1. Now, it doesn't really matter which one I do first. Let's do, um, let's do this bottom rectangle here. So, of course, I'm going to use length times width. And to find the area of this bottom rectangle, I would do 3 times 12. So I'm going to do length times width. I'm going to do 3 times 12 would be 36 square centimeters. Why don't we do uh, the, the back here? I'm going to do the, the area of this back rectangle. Now, I can see the height is 4, and it would be a length of 12. So I'm going to do 12 times 4 would be 48 square centimeters. And then this uh, top piece here, um, to find the area, that's also a rectangle, so that would be 12 times 5. 12 times 5 would give me the area of that top side, and that would be 60 square centimeters. So to find the surface area of this triangular prism, I would just add up all these together. Let's do one more example. So again, I'm going to do my triangular bases first. So since this top is labeled, I'm going to use these measurements. Now the base is 6, and the height would be 8. Again, I think I'm going to use this formula here. I'm going to do base times height divided by 2. So that would be 6 times 8 divided by 2. So that would be 24. Uh, we don't have a label on I don't know what units these are. So it would be 24 square units. And this is congruent to the top, so it's also going to be 24. OK, uh, rectangular face 1, 2, 3. It doesn't really matter which ones I do. I think I'm going to do this one first. Now, this is a rectangle, so I'm going to do base times height or length times width. Our base is 6. The height would be 12, so I do 6 times 12. That's 72 square units. Uh, let's do this back rectangle here. So the height is 12, and our base would be 8. So 8 times 12 is 96. And that would just leave us with our front rectangle here. And it has a base of 10 and a height of 12. And 10 times 12 is 120. 
And then again, we would just add these up, and that would give us the surface area of our triangular prism. And that's all there is to it.